What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today we're going to talk about Border Pack, a very difficult game mode that is also a very rewarding game mode. This is actually a pretty cool game mode. It actually reminds you of like Babel Tower of the difficulty level that it is, but the difference is whenever you jump into these game modes, you actually get 10 retries whenever you do this. And they're going to ask for a certain amount that you're going to set up and you get 10 reboots. It's going to cost you 5,000 cogs every time you do this. You can do it a maximum of 10 times. Now, the requirement is you've got to have the required BP amount in order to be able to do this. If you don't have the required BP amount, say I put a character in here that's got 5,200 BP instead of 5,500 BP. I cannot use COGS to reboot it again and just keep going and going and going. Because if you have 10 tries to be able to do this, Obviously, that's going to enhance your chance to be able to finish it. And why would you want to finish it? You want to finish it because you're going to get these buff effects, right? Every time you finish a border pack, every time, like when you finish Glazed Arch, you're going to get all team member QT skill by level one. Resonate stat that increases all of your QT levels for all of your characters, which is spectacular, guys. You know how we do resonance on memories for characters and we get those resonated stats? Well, this here in Border Pack applies to all of our team members, all of the characters in the game. The first one actually increases all of your red orb resonance by one, which is amazing, especially for a character like Lucia Plume or really any character in the game. This is actually really, really nice. Now, this is not a random stat. This is a stat they automatically give you, and I'll show you that right now. So I recently just finished Yazaza reclaim land we click on this here right and you got to use a character that has their ultima unlocked in order for this to work so all these characters ultimates are unlocked we'll go ahead and click on bianca there and then now all of my basic attack increases by level one so all of my basic attacks on all the characters in the game that i have have an extra resonate stat by one which is amazing guys it's going to increase their damage overall this is a system that increases your damage for all of your characters. So you really want to be doing this. Matter of fact, we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna be collecting some chips along the way, which is also really, really nice. And the best advice I could give any of you is to make sure that you do use the required BP amount. So that way you don't get annoyed with, you know, coming in here and trying to fight it. And then maybe you lose because this does get very, very difficult. So having the required BP amount will allow you to reboot 10 times if you absolutely need to. And it's cheap. You know, you're talking about 50,000 cogs and 10 reboots. That's not that many cogs. You can farm those things super, super easy. So it's actually the cost to reward ratio in this game mode is actually quite insane. Very, very good for all of us. I mean, here in this one here, guys, you can see I had to use Kamoy, Karenina, Alpha, and then I had a team at four different teams. And when I, especially whenever you're playing with like solo characters, it's really, really difficult because you only have so many dodges. Like your melee characters are going to have more dodges than say your, you know, distant, your range characters like Bianca. But even then, it still can get pretty difficult because you'll have a multitude of mobs in here and they will gang up on you. And so you might dodge, 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 and you're just trying to avoid taking any attacks because these guys do an insane amount of damage to you, man. If they hit you a couple times, you are freaking dead, especially with a character like Alpha, who's very fragile. I mean, burst damage out, the, out of this world, but she needs to dodge her attacks. And really the same with Kara, Nina, Bianca, like all these characters. I mean, there's some defense right here with Kamoy, but even then, it's still very, very difficult because you're only going to be using one character in some of these game modes. I mean, they're all going to be different. Sometimes they're going to ask you to do, you know, two characters per, right? And then you have one character. Sometimes they'll ask you to do... Uh, three characters on a team, right? And you can see right here, I didn't have the required BP amount, so I actually had to beat this in one round, which really wasn't that difficult because when you can use three characters, you can easily have like a Da Vinci set on one character, you can have your debuffs on another character, well, actually debuffs on both characters, and you can do a ton, a ton of damage. Whereas when you've got solos, you don't have those debuffs available. These things are much, much harder than these runs right here because you're only using one character. You only have so many dodges available to you, so you have to be very very careful about doing this thing and this one here required us to need you know 5500 bp and as it moves up this one here i believe is 5500 bp as well yeah 5500 bp for this one what did the first one start out as so it looks like, well, this is 5,000 BP. So it does gradually go up as far as how much BP you're actually going to need. So, you know, again, the best advice I can give all of you whenever you're trying to face this thing is just have the required BP for your characters. Make sure your memories are fully resonated. And maybe if you can even hypertune them, that's always good. And obviously the level of your character makes a huge, huge difference in these things. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the run that I did uh, just with Kamoi here because he actually has lower BP than any of these characters. I mean, Bianca has lower BP, but she also had Chrome on the team, which actually allowed her to do a lot more damage. This was actually more difficult than these other clears right here. So that's the one I'm gonna actually show you guys. But make sure you are doing this so that way you can get all of these extra resonance. I mean, whenever you take a look at my characters here, we look at Alpha here, right? We had one of them red orbs uh from the border pack to see we got an extra red orb right here right and then whenever you take a look at my memories my memories are only given one red orb so we did get one extra red orb resonance from the border pack so again make sure that you are trying to play it do the best you can just try to get the required bp amount that you need so that way you can retry it again or reboot it again and again so that way you can actually get those clears and get these extra resonated stats that will make a big difference in the damage of your characters so hopefully you enjoy the run and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m gmt plus 7 time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see ya